Hey, what's up everyone? This is Tim. Have you ever wanted to write your own backend services but didn't know where to start? Do you love Swift and wish you could use it everywhere? Well, this is the course for you. In this course, you will learn what Vapor is and how to use it to create your very own Vapor application. I really struggle to understand what my sister is texting me sometimes, so I've decided to build a simple Today I Learned application to help me decipher all the acronyms and we're going to build it in Vapor. We'll go through everything you need to learn along the way, even if you've never done any server or web development before. By the end of this course, you will have learned how to create a complex application that you can talk to via both an API and a website. The only requirement for this course is that you should be fairly familiar with Swift before starting. If you aren't, then check out some of the other great courses on raywendelik.com, including your first Swift 4 and iOS course and the Programming in Swift course. Whilst you could follow along with this course on Linux, we will be working primarily on macOS and in Xcode, so make sure you have that installed and ready to go before we start. Ever since Swift was open sourced by Apple in 2015, it has been possible to run Swift code on Linux, which makes it a great option to write server applications in for your mobile apps. It is quick, easy to learn and type safe, providing a large number of benefits over some of the more traditional server languages and even some of the newer ones. A number of web frameworks have emerged that allow you to write fully fledged APIs and web apps in Swift, and Vapor has become the most popular framework due to its community, speed, and ease of use. Vapor has great APIs and allows us to write server applications in a language that we all love. We can even debug server applications in Xcode. In this first section of the course, we'll begin by getting set up to write Vapor applications by installing the Vapor toolbox. Then we'll build our first simple project so you can see how easy it is to get started with Vapor. Next, we'll look at how to add routes to our application, starting with a simple route and then building up to more complex routes with parameters and nested paths. I'll then give you a quick overview of the basics of HTTP, so we understand all of the terms that will come up during this course. We'll then look at how to accept data from requests, such as sending JSON to our application, and see how easy it is to use with Swift 4 and Codable. Finally, you'll be set a challenge to put into practice everything you have learnt in the section to create some of your own routes. It will really be that simple. Just like every other course on raywendlick.com, this course is very hands-on. Almost everything we'll go through will be code examples, as it is by far the best way to learn how things work. I strongly encourage you to follow along with me throughout the videos and type along so you learn along the way. Don't be afraid to pause or rewind the videos if you miss anything. I won't be going anywhere. This course also contains a number of challenges that I'll set for you. These are designed for you to put into practice what you have learnt over the last few videos. There won't be anything in these challenges that will be completely new or that we haven't covered but it will be presented in a slightly different way so you can apply your learning. Definitely try and do the challenges, but don't worry if you get stuck. I'll show you the answers afterwards. One final note, this course is based on the upcoming Vapor by Tutorials book that will be released in the coming months, but is available to pre-order now. If you like what you see, definitely go and check it out as it goes into more details about what we talk about over this course, as well as talking about more advanced topics such as deployments, testing, and calling other APIs. Right, that's enough of having to listen to me talking at you. Let's get stuck in and get our first Vapor app running.